welcome back to my channel welcome back to a brand new video i have a haul for you today i popped in to in my last vlog i popped into dunelm well i don't actually know if i got any vlog footage in dunelm i was out and about shopping anyway and i ran in to get some uh, glassware which I'll, I'll show you in a second and then I realised the summer sale was on. And I know I've only recently done a kind of Dunelm haul or shown you some Dunelm bits in vlogs. But, guys, I got so much. So I thought I would just do a full dedicated Dunelm haul today. Loads of amazing sale finds. Make sure you've got yourselves a nice drink. Snacks in hand. Put your feet up. Let's just have a bit of chill time together. And let me share with you everything that I've been buying from Dunelm. So I'm gonna start with um, an online order that I made. Firstly, I went into store, went to pick up these specific glass glasses, which I've got two of, and I wanted a full set, and they only had two in store, I think, so I picked up them, ordered four more online. Whilst I was online, I saw loads of other amazing sale finds. This first one, probably one of my favorite buys. So it's actually, you're not gonna be able to tell <laughs> very well on camera. But it's a like gorgeous, like kind of natural coloured bean bag. And it's kind of like a triangular shaped one that you can just very much lounge, sit on the floor. I'm thinking of having this in this room and having it just for a bit of me time, a bit of zen, if I want a bit of meditation, if I just want to read a book. And obviously because it's a bean bag, it's very versatile. I could take it outside if I want to, probably not on the grass. I'd probably go on the patio with it or just down in the living room or whatever. I could sit on it whilst filming. Let's do that, shall we? Um, but yeah, before I do, let me just show you this and tell you the price of it. So it was 100 pounds, but it was in the sale for 49, 49 pounds. Um, so yeah, really happy with this purchase. The other large item that I got online, so, oops. I wanted a spray mop. I've got a steamer mop. I just feel like sometimes you need like an actual floor cleaning product because that steam one that I have is really good but yeah I felt like sometimes floor floor cleaners what am I trying to say sometimes it's better to have an actual floor cleaning product rather than just water in that steam off so anyway that is they're the two big items that I got I can't remember how much that one was it wasn't in the sale I don't think I think it was about 12 pounds and then let me show you the other online bits this dress by the way is one of my primark purchases i made in a recent primark vlog as well and i'll ignore this nail as well i feel like pointing it out is gonna make you notice it i've just chipped off the end which is annoying so i'm gonna sort that out later but let's see if i can get up some prices for everything that i bought online so i got this pastry brush i've been kind of organizing through my kitchen bits and sorting through and um, anything that we don't have and I realised we didn't have a pastry brush so I picked this one up for £1.60 that one was and then this is the glassware that I bought so I've got a couple like I said in store I already have a couple and I like them that much so I was like yeah it's going to be the one that I'm going to get a full set of so it's just this highball fluted glass like ribbed glass that is £4. So they've got shorter ones, which you'll have seen in my kitchen as well at £3.50. And for now, I've actually just got a full set of the taller ones. Don't know whether to get the shorter ones as well. So I've got eight of those. We're on to the in-store find. So I've got three carry bags full of bits. Firstly, it's some storage box boxes, I should say, because I've got three of these sized ones. In fact, let me see if I can find my receipt. Here it is, right on the top, that's handy. So these ones weren't in the sale, these were all full price, but I thought I would pick up several of these for our pantry cupboards for food storage. So I picked up three of the 2.2 litre ones. So I've got lots of acacia wood jars, which again, you'll have probably seen in my kitchen, but they're all quite small. So for bigger items like cereals, or I don't know, pastas and rice where you end up having more than just a jar's worth. I thought these would come in handy for that. So I thought slotted side by side, labeled up. I'm gonna do a full pantry organize with me video at some point. I feel like I just need to wait until it's cleared out of all the builder's stuff, but once it is, I can't wait for that. Can't wait for that day to come. So yes, I've got three of those at three pounds each. And then I got three of the larger 3.3 litre ones at four pounds each. So again, just the same. And again, side by side slotted in like that. I thought 
they would look nice and simple. I picked up a, a 50 pack of pegs. They had them in grey, I think they had blue, pink, and then this sage green colour, which I went for. So these are good, obviously, not only for clotheslines, but also for st food storage as well. I sometimes just like to use a peg to clip them shut at the top. So worth three pounds, now down to one pound 50. We need to sort out some kind of line, clothesline for in the garden so I can actually hang out my washing in this gorgeous weather. This little bargain find. Now, they had loads of these because they're obviously crockery plates, cups, bowls and everything. But I thought I would pick it up as a bit of a candle plate, just the one. So these ones were three pounds. This one was down to just 75p. And I thought that size is ideal for one of the medium sized botanical candles that the White Company do, or maybe even like a Neptune pillar candle as well that I've got. And I just really like the kind of fluted edging again. I love ribbed glassware, crockery, stuff like that. So anyway, got that. Then I picked myself up this. This was like a little impulse checkout purchase. And especially as we've been struggling with hay fever and I'm not one to struggle with hay fever usually. So yeah, it must be rife this year. But anyway, I thought it'd be good to have these downstairs. And how pretty is that box? <laughs> I mean, usually you just cover a tissue box anyway. And I do have a tissue box cover, not the shape though. I thought that was quite nice to just have in the box that it is. So that was a pound. Okay, I got this in the clearance section. This is actually a flat sheet. When I first saw it, I thought, oh, a flat sheet for the bed, especially in the heat. Um, but it's only a single and it was the only one they had. So it was reduced from £11 down to £5.50. Now the measurements are pretty bang on for our new dining table that will be arriving at some point this week, I think, or next week, sorry. Yeah, next week at some point, I think. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just, I mean, for five quid, just test it out and see how we get on. And even if it doesn't work for that dining table, we use it maybe on like an outdoor table that we've got, which is gross. It's just one of those like fold out plastic tables that we use for barbecues, especially if we're hosting, but just to cover it with something nice so that you kind of cover up the fact that it's a grotty table, plastic table that's all stained underneath. You'd never know. So even if, yeah, we don't use it for our inside dining table, I will have a use for it. Okay, I also came across this Myers cleaning range, Mrs. Myers, hardworking at home keeping. It's up to, they had quite a few different products within this brand, this range, but I just picked up these two because I thought these would be the most handy and most used for me. In the sale, this one was £3.50 down to £1.75 and it is washing up liquid. I like the fact that it's clear, so I could, if I wanted to, decant it into my, I've got a Delsford Farm one that I like and a Neptune one. Uh, washing up liquid bottle that I just refill with the cheap stuff. I think Neptune have actually discontinued theirs anyway. I have to admit though, the Dalesford Farm one is by far the nicest smelling washing up liquid that I have ever used. The rosemary one, so, so good. Anyway, this multi-surface everyday cleaner is also in that same scent, which is, by the way, I didn't say it, lemon verbena, a light, refreshingly mild citrus scent was four pounds down to two pounds this one. Oh, and I did also get the hand soap. Again, the fact that it is clear, again, makes it easy to decant into a, another pot. And this one was four pounds down to two pounds, made with olive oil and aloe vera, good for uh, dry skin. Yeah, see how I get on with those. Okay, another sale find. I keep seeing this every time I go into Stun Elm and I just never bother with it because I'm like, oh, I've already got a rolling pin. Not one this size though and not one with measurements and not one that has a shaker that you can put flour in. So I decided, you know what? Now that it's in the sale, it's half price. I'm definitely going to get it. So it was £16 down to £8 as part of the Mason Cash range. So as you can tell, oh, if I spin it round, it says on their roller shaker, the original roller shaker, if you can see the amazing cash, where is it? Oh no, and then that side, I was gonna show you the measurement side. So you can um, put flour inside it really easily to be able to then use it to shake flour onto surface, roll out the ingredients, and then it features a ruler measure for accurate baking. This is a throw, I mean, our house is full of throws, especially having a dog. I just feel like with any furniture item that you've got, if you just throw a throw on, easy enough, and we just let the dog go wherever he wants to go, really. So he's just up, he's just literally over there sleeping at the minute. 
Um, but I thought I would get this colour throw, firstly because it was in the sale, and secondly, I thought it would go perfectly in our new kind of kitchen extension area. So it was £7, which in itself is a pretty reasonable, and it was down to just £3.50. Again, half price. So I'm thinking this on our sofa, mainly, but I can always use it as well to take it outside if I feel like we want a bit of a picnic blanket or a throw on the grass to sit on. So yeah, got that. Now these I've had before and I bought them full price. So now that they're in the sale, I only picked up two because I, I thought I don't need loads of these, but um, they are really, really good. They're essentially just dusters, but it's from the Edited Life range. It's bamboo and cotton fiber cloth, really soft. And yeah, the fact that they're now only £2.58, I thought I'm gonna have to grab a couple of those. Um, and yeah, I just dust with those and then I also use polish with those and they are really good. No lint or anything like that left over. So yeah, I got those. Oh, these were on the checkout. They had loads of them, like two massive boxes full of them. So I picked up two, two pairs of uh, cheese knives. I thought I was gonna get the one, but I was like, well, the, with a cheese board, if you're hosting especially, you generally have several cheeses. So I thought I would pick up two of these. Just two different sizes, two different shapes, and they were reduced down to just two pounds from eight. So I thought that was a really good saving. And uh, one that couldn't be missed. They did also have them in silver, like a stainless steel. I went for the black. Then, what else do we have? Okay, this was a bargain find. I was really happy with this one. Um, it's, I showed loads of sale finds on my Instagram. If you follow me on my Instagram homework account for Farrington Home, you'll have seen that I posted loads of photos. This one I actually posted a photo of as well. So many of you said how much of a bargain it is and you were hoping that I picked it up and yes, I did. So this one was 15 pounds, reduced to just 3.75. And it's this gorgeous spouted, like low spouted, kind of watering can jug. Um, it's in ceramic. So definitely one that I'm thinking as a decorative rather than an actual watering can, but you could use it as a watering can, obviously. I think this would look lovely actually with some flowers in it, planted in it, as well as it just being on its own a standalone ornament. I thought this could look nice on the kitchen shelf, it could look nice in the pantry, could look nice outside even. Um, for 375, you can't really go wrong. It's gorgeous, kind of like light gray color. So yes, got that. What else have I got in here? I've got a couple more of those glasses, which I don't need to show you. I'll just take them straight down to the kitchen and pop them away. This is the last and final item. So I got this. Now I have already got one of these and I thought it'd be quite handy to have a second for a tablescape. It's essentially a little candle holder. And again, I pay full price for the other one, but £3.50, these are now half price down to £1.75. And they just hold a tall church candle, like a thin candle again for hosting on a dining table to have two it kind of not either end but you know like a third of the way on each side I thought it'd be quite nice to have two of them so hence why I picked up another one and also the fact that it was half price I thought bargain absolute bargain so that is everything that I have purchased from Dunelm and from their summer sale I hope you guys have enjoyed this little haul that I have done I know um, a lot of you are loving the vlogs that I've been doing recently. So thank you so much for all your love and support on those. I will, of course, continue to do them. And yeah, stay tuned for my next one, which will be coming in a few days time. I hope to see you all then. Bye, guys.